everyone welcome to this updated video i trust and hope you're doing good happy independence day to my fellow jamaicans and we're gonna be taking a look at what is going on across the atlantic basin we've got tropical storm debbie coupled with the next disturbance in the caribbean that one still has its chance to develop into something over the course of the coming days so we're going to be taking a look at what is expected and kickstarting things with the satellite imagery we can see debbie loitering in the southeastern u.s now she's going to be here for some time potentially dumping historic rainfall amounts uh that uh breaches probably up to 20 25 inches within some areas and that would be enough to cause catastrophic flooding in some spots and so i hope that all the necessary uh warnings have been heated and the preparations have been made for all of this rain that is being dumped in parts of the state, South Carolina, even parts of North Carolina as well. So Debbie made landfall yesterday as a Cat 1 hurricane and has weakened since because, of course, it's cut off from a source of fuel and energy. But it is going to be re-emerging in water. And even though it's going to be loitering around and bringing all this rain, what's going to fuel it is the fact that it will still be it will be over water to get some more energy and uh, that's going to be a problem and i've also highlighted before in uh, previous updates that when it comes on to tropical cyclones one of the major causes or the major cause of fatalities is the water so it's not going to be much of a wind issue with this it's the water catastrophic rainfall amounts that are going to be possible over the course of the next two to three days for parts of the southeastern united states so we're going to talk more about debbie in a moment but go into the uh caribbean right now there's a tropical wave in the area that is marked for development so that one is given that 30 percent chance of formation we haven't seen an increase in the chance for a while so it's been holding at 30 percent and we can see all this shower and thunderstorm activity associated with it so it's kind of struggling to get a lot of those uh a lot of that convection really going However, as we head to the Southwest Caribbean, going to the vicinity of Panama and Colombia, we can see a lot going on this morning, very active within the area. And uh, further north, though, not much going on. It should be a pretty sunny morning for many of us. So let's look at the rainfall forecast for today. Here we can see it. So the South Caribbean, as I said, going to be pretty active. Lots of showers around with that tropical wave. And then that huge uh, flare or that uh, burst of convection down towards the vicinity of uh, Southern Central America and Northern South America for Colombia. So that area will generally be active. Lots of rain likely. There could even be instances of flooding. And then uh, further into parts of Northern C Central America, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, the offshore islands as well, parts of Nicaragua, especially in the west, may not experience as much rain, but there could still be some showers loitering around. Similar thing for parts of Jamaica, Cuba, uh, the Cayman Islands may not experience much showers today, but then for Hispaniola, parts of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and through the Leeward Islands, there could be a few passing showers here and there. Things may be a, a little wet, especially for the Northern Bahamas, parts of South Florida, but for the rest of the Bahamian Islands, go into the Turks and Caicos Islands, much rain not expected. Going to the vicinity of the Windward Islands of the Lesser Antilles, uh, anywhere from, say, Martinique southward through Grenada, including Trinidad, Tobago, and Barbados, there could be a bit more shower activity within the area. It may not be for everywhere across the different islands, but there could be some additional downpours today. Same thing for the ABC Islands. Some well-needed rain has fallen within these islands, and hopefully there's going to be some more today because... Uh, I've been seeing the comments from you guys. It's been very hot. So it's a good thing that there's a bit of a rainfall relief right now. And then for other parts of Northern South America, some spots in Venezuela, as well as Guyana, Suriname, there could be some additional rainfall today. In terms of the wind, it's going to be quite windy, especially in the East Caribbean. Winds could be gusting up to 20 or over 20 knots or so. And uh, for other areas, such as Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, may not be as windy, with maximum winds going up to 5, maybe 10 knots or so today. Now, going on to Debbie. This is the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center as of the 5 a.m. update. And ma uh, maximum sustained winds right now are up to 45 miles per hour. And Debbie is moving to the northeast at 7 miles per hour. So it's really slowing down. And it's going to be going back over water, as I said. 
Because of this, it should strengthen a bit.、Uh, winds could peak up to 60 miles per hour after it moves offshore. So, those tropical storm impacts are going to be likely to、uh, persist for the next few days over parts of the southeastern states, Georgia,、uh, even parts of northern Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina as well, and eventually for、uh, Virginia, going to Pennsylvania, and other parts of the northeastern United States could experience some impacts. But at that time, Debbie will be moving out a lot. Quicker, so it's going to be loitering for the next few days through much of the week for the southeastern U.S. But as we head into the weekend, it's going to really、uh, pick up in its acceleration out to the northeast and eventually make its way back into water as a post tropical cyclone. So, as I said, there could be those historic rainfall amounts for parts of South and North Carolina, probably up to 20 25 inches in total between now and around Friday. So, guys, please continue to stay safe as Debbie unleashes its impacts. And then for the Caribbean disturbance, as I said, that chance is holding at 30%. It could eventually make its way into the Gulf and intensify before moving inland. However, that is not a guarantee. And as it pertains to the ensemble tracks, let's go to those. We've been looking at them a lot more often lately. We see the Euro members here. Now, this goes out to Wednesday of next week. We can see all these members for Debbie. And then we see a little cluster of members for the Caribbean disturbance. So, kind of a drop off in the amount that we saw yesterday versus today. And then we see some more members expecting something else to potentially try to get itself together as it makes its way near the Caribbean. As for the GFS members, GFS also not expecting a whole lot of development out of the、uh, disturbance in the Caribbean right now. But then we could see another tropical wave out there, maybe the current one out there, well, offshore Africa, try to get itself together as it makes its way to the west or the west northwest. So we could see a weakening in the、uh, area of high pressure. And when that happens, there will be sort of the opportunity for any system out there, maybe headed to the west, to get the chance to curve up and out. We saw lots of that happen. Happened last year because the high was not dominant, although we're expecting a more dominant one this time around for this hurricane season. But we're not yet in that most active phase. It's really as we head to late August and go into September, especially throughout September, that's when we're really going to see things ramp up in the tropics. And of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted as necessary. So, that is basically it for this update video, and I do hope you found it to be informative. But if you have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll get to you when I have the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.